One friend in particular I, I want to dedicate this next song to is a guy named John Scott. You don't know him, but... Six weeks before our first record was dropped by ABC Records, he went to the radio stations with a vengeance and brought that sucker onto the charts. And we... And it wasn't easy. <laughs> we are forever grateful we're gonna dedicate this to him tonight. This is I Won't Back Down. This is Dan from Music Explorer. We're here with John Scott. John was a promo man and DJ in the 70s and 80s, and he was responsible for watching Tom Petty and John Mellencamp's careers. And if it wasn't for John, we may never even heard their music on the radio. And John's got a book out. It's called Tom Petty and Me. It's about his life in rock and roll and how he got Tom Petty on the charts. It's a really good book, full of great stories. And if you're a Tom Petty fan, I recommend you get it. You'll love it. Hey, John. How you doing? And how you doing through this pandemic and isolation we're going through? So I just play Tom Petty music all day long. So, but you know, other than that, just staying in place and um, um, uh, selling books and uh, taking them to the post office with my mask on. And uh, that's kind of my day. Uh, the shout out that you're talking about uh, at the Hollywood Bowl, that was, um, I, I, I did an interview on Sirius XM before the show. And I, um, I went, after the serious interview, I went and sat in my seats with my daughter. I had no idea that he was gonna stop the show after four songs and dedicate I Won't Back Down to Me. At the memorial service for Tom, uh, Tom's wife, Dana, came over and <clears throat> told me one of the reasons why he did what he did. Um, she said they got in the car about six o'clock in Malibu, in the limo, and of course the, Radio is on Sirius XM channel 31. And he gets in the car and they're talking. And uh, I guess Mark Felsack came on and said, hey, next we're gonna interview John Scott. And she said, Tom said, he just said they're gonna interview John Scott. And she said, yeah. He said, well, I wanna listen to everything he has to say. So I just told the truth. I told basically the, the stories in my book, I basically condensed that into a half an hour interview. And she said, it really hit him hard. Uh, what I said, because it was all true. Yep. People know that I have a pretty 40 year relationship with Tom as a record promotion man. And I know him very well. So when somebody asks me what's Tom really like, um, I'll talk for 10 minutes. Okay. Because Tom was, Tom was a great guy. He was an incredible guy. He was a, he was a genius songwriter. He wrote short songs that you and I both can relate to anybody can relate to any of his songs and um, he was a humble guy Tom was a shy guy very shy um, and very funny 